Lad Franklin and Washburn, Women Pioneers. Ariel Scott Finley, March the 9th, 2015. Christine Lodd was born in Connecticut in December of 1847 into a New England family. Lodd's mother and aunt were both women rights advocates. She was the oldest of two for her mother and had two step, step brothers and sisters. And she was encouraged at a young age by her father to always pursue her dreams. She grew up in a time where men and women were definitely not equal. Men went out and got educations and worked, and women stayed at home and took care of the children, which was considered their job. Despite that, with all of her encouragement, she attended Vaser College. Christine graduated from Vaser College in 1869. She did not continue right into graduate school in the fall because of her expense issues with her father. She then started teaching in New York. She eventually was able to go back to school and received her PhD in 1882. It wasn't until after her college years that she began to study mathematics. Christine married Fabian Franklin, a member of the John Hopkins Mathematic Department. She, like her mother, also had two children. While attending Vaser, she was able to study under Maria Mitchell. Maria had been internationally recognized as the first woman to discover a new comet using a telescope in 1847. The following year, she became the first female member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and later the first in the American Association for the Advancement of Science. She was definitely a great role model for Loud Franklin. Abir M. and Acham were other influences on Loud Franklin's life. They concluded that female scientists had arisen under such conditions because of family decreased capacity of social conformity often allowed more educational freedom for its daughters. Christine's mother died when she was only 12 years old. There was a start of the Civil War and also her father's financial difficulties that was trouble for her to finish her education. Her study of psychology began in Germany. She started to gain an interest in color vision. She presented this at the Second International Congress of Psychology in 1892 and published in German Journal of Psychology. Margaret Floyd Washburn was born in New York July the 25th, 1871. Her family were American Quaker stock. As a child, she was tutored at a very young age where she eventually went to public school and then also attended Vaser College. She studied a lot of chemistry and philosophy. She sought admission to Columbia for graduate school where she was encouraged to work under Weber's law. Weber's Law, which was also known as Weber Fischner Law, historically important ph physiological law qualifying the perception of change in a given stimulus. The following year, Tischner started his period at Cornell. Margaret's thesis was the effect of visualization upon judgments of tactical distance and direction which was translated to German with the help of Titchener. She was able to 
earned her degree at Cornell University. She studied consciousness and examination of mental processes in both animals and humans. In 1908, Margaret published The Animal Mind, which explored existence of conscious process. She then moved away from Titchener and wrote her second book, which was titled Movement and Mental Imagery, which outlined motor theory of consciousness and emphasized importance of motor movement in all sight processes. Christine Lott Franklin and Margaret Floyd Washburn changed history. They both entered college at a time where men and women were not equal and women were not allowed to graduate and get degrees. That didn't allow these women to stop. They both made it happen. Christine Lodge Franklin published her own theory of color vision based on evolution. And Margaret Washburn was the first woman to earn a doctoral degree in American psychology and the second woman to serve as APA president, which make these women very influential in history.